Hey store owner, I know the summer months can be a little bit harder for sales, but the good news is, is that you can make all of that up and then some in Q4 for the holiday shoppers. So I want to talk to you about some strategies that I've used for my store and my clients as well to create a really profitable holiday sales system. So first off, you need to stand out. You've got to create a unique promotion that's going to stand apart from your competition because everybody's doing sales for the holidays. Okay. Let's face it. The novelty's worn off. Black Friday is not a big thing. Thankfully people are not crashing into stores anymore. We don't just need to be running to the bottom on pricing. Okay. First off, that's not even smart. You're going to end up hurting yourself to where you're spending money on ads and you're discounting your products. So maybe you break even, maybe you don't. Yeah, no, not cool not cool at all. So instead of discounting your products, think about how you can actually elevate them a bit by making a unique promotion. So for this, it could be something like a buy one, get one free or a free gift. I love to do some kind of limited edition kind of product. That's a free gift for a holiday promotion. You could also do something like the 12 days of Christmas. So if you have a lot of products on your store, feature them do the 12 days of Christmas of December 1st through the 12th and each day have a different product that you are featuring and have some kind of promotion with that. So maybe you're doing a bundle of products and you're featuring, you know, buy to get the third one or whatever it is. Um, have a couple different promotions like that for each individual product. And it can be a great way to get people to come back and sh keep shopping with you day after day during the holiday season. Overall though, you just want to think about what your ideal customer wants. Is there a way that you can make them feel like a hero for shopping on your store? Maybe they're getting a great kind of deal or promotion. Like if you were to do some discounting or you could do a bundle. So they're getting multiple products in one for multiple people on their holiday list. I'm doing this for bundling on my own Shopify store. I created some pillows with different illustrations from my children's books. So I then am able to sell these and say, you know, buy two pillows, get the third one, you know, I'll get a free sticker or whatever it is that I want to do. I can set up all these promotions and really try and incentivize people to not just buy one of their children a pillow, but buy both of their children a pillow and get multiple things done at the same time. Think about how you can create something like this that's going to actually end up increasing your average order value. That's super important for the holiday season, especially if you're going to be sending paid ads to your store or just spending all of this time on social media to promote your store as well. It's important to increase your average order value to try and recoup some of those costs and make sure that you can still have a healthy profit margin. There's honestly always going to be people that want to buy more from you. So make it easy for them. Do bundling or upsells on your site where they may not have even seen that product when they first came to your store because they came from an ad and then you're highlighting another product that they may like as well. So for me, I already told you I've got pillows. Well, I've also got coffee mugs and blankets so that all of that kind of connects with each other. Oh, and stickers. I have stickers. I'm using that as a big upsell on my store. Have different things like that where it makes sense for them to go, oh, that's cute. Well, I like that too. I'll add that to my cart and I can keep that or I can give it to someone else as well. Okay, so we also need to get your store ready for the holidays. So this means actually going through your store and checking out all the broken links. I know it can sound tedious. I'm not saying you have to do it. You can have an employee or a virtual assistant do it or your niece or nephew, child, whoever but someone needs to be going through your site, clicking through all of the links in your navigation at the bottom of your site and trying to make sure that you don't have broken links. This can be really frustrating for shoppers and you don't want to miss out. I add this in because I have reviewed thousands of Shopify stores over the last 15 years of my career and you won't believe the amount of broken links that I found that are just missed opportunities. So go through your store, actually audit your whole design. Are the images still working for you? Is the copy still relevant for your ideal customer? Maybe you need to change some sections out, like going through and having things more for the holidays. You could actually take holiday specific photos that you then include on your site just to, again, make it stylized and make it relevant for the holiday shopper that's coming to your store now. Again, you're spending so much time and effort getting people to actually come to your store. So let's make sure when they're actually at your store that it's looking good, right? 
I've actually got a free guide that walks you through auditing everything for your Shopify store from your images to your copy to your apps to your automations from behind the scenes. All of that that you need to have in place before you actually start doing paid ads and sending more traffic to your store. So check the link below to download that or I'll put it wherever up above as well. And it's a really helpful guide to take you step by step through your store. Also talking about optimizing your store, this is the perfect time to set up sales channels if you have not done this yet for Shopify. This is a really cool functionality that actually lets you have your products connected to the different platforms. So there's a Google YouTube one, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. I think there's a couple more and I'm just forgetting them, but there's a lot of different sales channels now, which makes it really easy to add your products to there. So people can actually shop your products directly from Instagram or Pinterest or wherever without actually having to leave that platform so it's pretty sweet it makes it really easy for the customers and it can make it really easy for you to have that quick sale because you're linking to that in your instagram picture you're actually just tagging it tagging the product and it's really easy to shop it from that post then they're not having to go to your site and search for it it's easy for them it's easy for you so it's a no-brainer to set up for the holiday season and beyond of course Next, to get your store ready for the holidays, I really want you to actually forecast what you're anticipating. So if you have a sales goal in mind, let's say you wanna make $10,000 this month for the holidays. So, okay, cool, great goal. How many products do you need to sell? How many orders do you need to have? What's the average order value? Check out your Shopify analytics to get some of this information for your store sales already. And then you can also forecast ahead, thinking through of your promotion that you're doing, bundling, whatever it is that you're going to be setting up to try and get people to shop for the holidays. This is gonna be helpful to know, okay, what is the actual numbers that you're needing to drive? I am all for setting big goals. Do not get me wrong. I love the big goals. Post your big goals below so we can support you, okay? But we need to do the math on it too. So we need to say, okay, the goal is 10,000, awesome. How many sales do you need to make to hit that goal? How many products do you need to sell? How many products are going out in each order? Forecast all that so you can make sure you have enough products. I know it just would suck so bad to be doing all of this work for doing a holiday promotion and running ads and doing all of the work of getting people to your store just to run out of product and have to slap a pre-order button on there or even worse, a sold out button. No sold out button, we gotta plan ahead, okay? So a great way to do that is planning ahead and making sure that you have enough inventory to cover all of your costs. As you're going through and mapping out these numbers, just keep in mind that the average conversion rate for e-commerce is two to 3%. So if you have a hundred people that come to your store, okay, well, two are going to purchase if it's a 2% and so on and so forth. So you have to think through, okay, how many products do you want? Then that means how many people need to come to your store to have those sales go out as well. It's really just a numbers game that you need to figure out to make sure that you're planning for the season ahead. And it's also important to have access to quick funding if you need to order more products or if you need to increase your ad spend, whatever it is that you need to do to increase your sales this holiday season and anticipate the demand. That's why this part of the video is sponsored by ClearCo. They offer easy access to funding for Shopify stores just like yours. ClearCo offers working capital that's ready when you are with zero collateral, no personal guarantees, and best of all, it's non-dilutive. This means that you get to keep full control of your business. With ClearCo, you only start making payments once the funds are in use, saving you significantly on fees. This is different from other funding options that charge fees up front and require daily withdrawals from your account. What I love the most about ClearCo is that your payment amounts are capped at a predictable weekly amount based on a percentage of your revenue. This approach makes it easier to manage your cash flow with no surprises, just clear, straightforward working capital to grow your brand. ClearCo's working capital can help fund vendor invoices, receipts, marketing costs, shipping fees, logistics, fulfillment, and more. With funding available in as little as 24 hours, ClearCo's got your back for a record-breaking holiday season. Just imagine having fully stocked inventory, you're shipping all your orders on time, and you've ramped up that marketing. 
go to clear.co, that's C-L-E-A-R dot C-O, to sign up and see what funding your business qualifies for. Okay, so it's time to talk about actually how to send traffic to your store, right? Like that's what everyone wants to know of how do I get more eyeballs on my store L so that people will actually purchase my products and then become a raving fan for life because my products are great and I'm great and small business is great. The first step is getting that first order in and the first step with that is actually getting them to your site. So we know all the obvious ways to send them to your site. We've got social media, we've got email marketing, paid ads, influencer marketing, so many things that you can be doing to actually drive people to your store. There's free options, paid options, and honestly, I really recommend doing a mix of both. I also recommend doing SEO and really going for building up your store over time and creating those keywords on your site and all the places so that your store is easier to find. But again, that's a little bit of a long game. You really need all of these pieces in place to build up more traffic to your store overall. But for the holiday season, it can be really crucial to actually be sending that quick traffic to your store. And the best way to do that is with social media and with ads. So it's important to know exactly who your customer is, where they're hanging out online, and what interests them. You don't wanna just be posting content that's like, hey, buy my product, buy my product, because there's gonna be a lot of that already, and people are gonna be really starting to train their brains to just scroll on past. And we don't want that, okay? So how can you stand out from your competition? Could you create some funny videos for social media or for ads? How can you showcase your product by talking about the ideal customer and their goals or their problems and how your product fixes that? Actually try and step into their shoes and think about how they're talking about their, their needs that they have or what they're looking for as a gift for someone as well. How are they describing your product and what they need when they're thinking about your product? They just don't know that your product exists yet. Those are the things that you wanna think about as you're creating these different traffic sources, whether it be paid ads or social media, to try and send traffic to your store. Try and be a little creative here because again, it is gonna be more competition for the holiday season and just more noise overall online. One of my favorite things to do for the holidays is actually to do a gift guide. So this is really easy to create. I've actually already got some templates set up so you can download those below, but they're easy to just go in and change out the images, the text, the colors so that it matches your brand. And gift guides are great to kind of help your ideal customer find the perfect product for them. You don't just have to feature your products though, you can feature other products as well, just use an affiliate link so you can get some extra income from that too. I like to create them and then add them as a blog post on my site and then link to them everywhere. So Pinterest loves gift guides, definitely put this on Pinterest. Social media, email marketing, paid ads, you can send it all to the gift guide. And this can be great because you can make it really targeted of you know gifts for new moms or gift ideas for artists or entrepreneurs or musicians or whatever it is that is related to your product. You can really call it out in the gift guide and make it easy for people to understand and find that product. It's also really great for sharing. So I highly recommend using gift guides. If you're interested in any other strategies like this for marketing your online store, I do have a full marketing system that I've videoed how to do every single step of setting up all of the marketing for your Shopify store. So check out the link below for more information. Okay, so it's great to get more sales for the holidays, obviously, but we really wanna make sure that we can capitalize on that as much as possible moving into 2025. And a great way that I like to do this is by adding some different things through apps on your store. So I love adding in a reviews app so that you can actually have this already set up and working automatically for you, especially with an increased amount of orders that you're gonna get for the holidays. I recommend setting this up like today so that you can go ahead and start benefiting from this. But it's a really easy app to set up and it'll automatically email your customers seven, 10, 14 days after fulfillment, whatever you set that as, ask them for a review and also give them the capability to add in an image or a video to the review as well. You can then display this on your store and in your own content for social media, email, wherever, as social proof. So it's really important to start adding this up. It adds so much credibility to your brand and your products, and it turns your customers into raving fans for you. So definitely recommend setting that up. 
You can also set up other apps like having an affiliate program or a referral program. So this way people that already like your products can then be telling other people about it and then they get something in return. So it's kind of a win-win and it's great because you're turning your customers into brand ambassadors for you. I really recommend thinking about what's the journey past this first order that they're doing for the holidays. Great, holiday order number one, awesome. What's gonna make them purchase in January, February, March, whatever other month makes sense for your products as well. This is where you can really start trying to nurture your customers through what I like to use of email marketing. So you can set up a welcome email sequence to people whenever they're first time customers or new subscribers. You can also set up other emails for people who haven't shopped in 60 days to remind them for a refill or to check out your new products or whatever it is. But also you can just be sending regular campaigns so that you stay top of mind with people and that they remember you. You're not just some shop that they bought a gift for their kid during the holiday season. You're a shop that they're going to be interested in purchasing from again and again and again. So make it easy for them by giving them more information about your business, your mission, what other products you have, showcasing them how to use the products, whatever makes sense for your business, just make sure that you're emailing them regularly so that you're really gonna be top of mind and you can ride that momentum into the next year as well. Okay, so I know we talked about so many things about the holidays and I mentioned a couple apps as well, but if you're interested to see the top apps that I recommend for my clients and my own Shopify store, then check out this video next to see exactly the apps that I recommend you getting started with on your store today, whether you're making zero dollars in sales, a thousand dollars in sales a month, or a million dollars in sales a month, these are the apps that you need for your store.